Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Facing staff shortages and an inability to keep contraband from entering prisons, the Department of Corrections wants to slash visitation hours. Former inmate Kyle Williford says families are being blamed when more often the problem is prison staff. It's physically impossible for that much dope to come through the visitation park. Originally, the Department of Corrections wanted to cut visitation from six hours every weekend to just two hours every other weekend. But following public protest, the department now says it will allow six hours for visitation every other weekend. Having those visitation, those moments, that's what keeps us pushing forward. If you take the visits away, I will be devastated. Emotions boiled over at times as families begged the department to reconsider the impacts of cutting visitation. I have done nothing wrong but be a mother. Let me be a mother to my son and let these people look at them. Every one of them want what I want. Jody Chambers has a son in prison. And the visitations for me are allowing me to continue to be his parent, to continue to help him through this current path that he is on. With the summer approaching, many at the hearing suggested riots may break out in the prisons, a combination of hot temperatures and hotter emotions from prisoners unable to see their loved ones. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.